When I started Year 12, I was stuck between um, the feeling of wanting to leave and start again as an adult, but also wanting to stay young forever and ditch responsibility um, and like just live in that moment of my life. So I had like one foot in adulthood and one foot in adolescence, um, which is like that age of 17, 18, where you're really stuck between two worlds. Um, so I wanted to create a piece that really encapsulated that transition and um, surmised my experiences as a teenager. I'm Ricard Wiley from St. Clair's High School, Taree, and this is my work, Remedy for Memory. My work is a refurbished cedar door. I wanted to create a sculpture that um, became almost a surreal self-portrait of myself. I tried to make the um, sculpture um, similar um, to me physically with height and width, and then also my internal features with some of my interests in like my poetry that connects to more my identity than my physical appearance. I think um, Frida Kahlo really um, influenced me over the course of year 12. I think um, a lot of her work is very brave and raw and honest and authentic to herself. Being able to show your scars to the world but them connect with it in their own life. What I'm trying to communicate to the audience is the fleeting fragility of youth. It's a quite universal human experience where we don't know where we stand, whether that be in adolescence or adulthood. And I wanted to also show them my own um, take on that with my own memories and my own experiences. I want the audience to feel a sense of comfort and familiarity, and I want them to um, feel understood and recognize themselves in the work. To be selected for the first class exhibition um, 2021 means a lot to me. My class actually came here when looking at the previous selectees. I drew a lot of my inspiration from them. The advice I would give to students about to start their body of work, HSC, um, would be to be fearless. For me, it's all about self-expression and identity. Art is a way to really demonstrate human experience and capsulate specific details of a person, place, or thing, or feeling, or emotion.